make this record hot. in on you. I wanted to share a video with you that my beautiful wife, Marion, uh, shot uh, a couple of days ago and loaded on her channel. Uh, and it's about something she and I discuss on a regular basis, and that's this entitled generation and the level of disrespect and disregard and the lack of work ethic and, and, and focus and intent that I see far too often in our youth and we talk we talked about it and you know we look at it and we see it way more than we want to we have to constantly stay on our own and so she brings a message home that is powerful i want you to check that out before i get to that i want to remind you that i'm currently in the early stage of writing book number 25 and it's focused on generating black wealth uh, on a generational level, and it is comprehensive A to B from 1865 to 2021 and beyond. And go check out the Black Wealth series on this channel uh, to see uh, what we're covering because I'm covering the book uh, in video to give you just a glimpse into what this book is going to be about. But most importantly, what I'm excited about most uh, about this 25th book project is I am taking sponsorships to sponsor space in the book for people to celebrate uh, people who've had an impact in their lives or celebrate memories or moments that, that have made an impact in their lives or to celebrate something that they've accomplished. And there's no minimum to sponsor and have your name in this book along with who you want, who or what you want to celebrate. And the link is going to be in the description box, a short explanation. You can either go to the page and get the whole explanation, or you can go directly to uh, the tra transaction page and go ahead and do your sponsorship. And I will be contacting you personally via email to get your submission on what you actually want in the book. You, Depending on what, you, there's no minimum, but depending on what you sponsor, you can end up with a copy of the book. You can end up with a dedicated page that's all yours. You can also end up with the ability to submit an image of the person you're celebrating. But whatever you do, become a part of this 25th book. I mean, I, just the idea and thought of that with everything that I've been through over the years, that's an accomplishment that I'm excited about and proud of. And I want you to be a part of it. So check that out. In the meantime, Here's my beautiful wife, Marion. And for those of you who know me, you know how I feel about this woman. And I'm glad to have another piece of her work on uh, my channel. Check it out. Weigh in in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, and I'll pass it on to Marion. Have a great day. Hello, everyone. It's Marion Wallace. We're restoring ghettos forgotten. And I'm here today with a little conversational piece about the state of our youth the state of our youth. And if you haven't done so already, please click and subscribe on my channel. Feel free to share this video if it's something you feel that could be informative or help other people. I would greatly appreciate it. But please uh, click and subscribe on my channel for more informative, real videos. It's real talk over here. We don't sugarcoat anything. We want us all to grow and become uh, better people, better versions of ourselves. Um, so today I'm really concerned about the youth today and let me tell you why this is going to be a short video because again I'm in Houston, Texas and it gets extremely hot and if I keep my phone out there in that little carrier thing in this visor it's going to get hot and shut off on me so I'm not going to be long with this but it's something that I thought um, we should discuss and I'm going to ask the parents or just adults in general have you noticed that our youth have become more wayward, more disrespectful, more entitled um, lately? I mean, have you noticed since um, social media took off uh, that because of the narcissism on social media, have you noticed a change in your youth? 
if you have then just please respond to my video while making a comment and let me know if you've ex if you've experienced any of this stuff you know how are you dealing with it how are you uh motivating your child to become to uh um be better versions of themselves or to not follow the world so just let me know how you deal with that because it's important that we share information or ideas because it may be something that you do that another person may have not even thought of doing and it could help in the long run that's what my videos is about it's not about judging other people it's about loving other people and and loving us to a point to where we're healthy and whole so that's what these videos are about but what i've noticed is that many of our youth have become very disrespectful very entitled selfish and uncaring and they're disrespectful and they're selfish and uncaring and all these things towards the very people that pave the way their elders now i don't know about everybody else but although i was raised in a home with my mother and my father i had a grandmother and and, and i know a lot of people hear stuff about the praying grandmother my grandmother was a praying grandmother and she instilled the time that i spent with her she instilled morals and values and character traits in me that i didn't even know i had until they started to sprout and they started to grow once i really needed them they were inside of me she was planting seeds and so that's what taught me even though you know i kind of grew up a whole nother way i still had a balance so that's how i learned how to respect my elders say yes ma'am no ma'am yes sir no sir and and to never disrespect your your, your elders so i'm trying to figure out why uh have we put that aside or have we missed that component of teaching our children how to respect our elders i mean have we missed that or is it just that because the rest of the world doesn't do it our kids or our youth or our teenagers are adapting to what the rest of the world is doing that's a serious question um again there are some children that have grown up in poverty stricken homes and the hoods and the ghettos of america and that they weren't taught morals values or standards or anything else they were kind of set up from the beginning of life but it still doesn't mean you have to stay that way and fail i want to make that perfectly clear you have a way out because i was one of those that had a way out but i'm saying i'm not necessarily just talking to those kids because it's kind of like that stuff was kind of it we, we we had a way paved for us and so normally nine times out of ten when you have that type of trauma and poverty and all of these bad examples in front of you you're going to pick that life and that lifestyle i'm not just talking to those children necessarily or those youth i'm talking to the ones that don't have it to do yeah this morning i'm talking to the the, the opposite what is your excuse youth i'm talking to the youth now what is your excuse why are you so disrespectful and entitled and, and selfish towards uh, your parents or your caregivers or your elders? Why? You, didn't, you don't have it to do. You had a loving home. You lived in a home. You had a parent, even if it was just one parent, that loved you, provided for you, took care of you, nurtured you, fed you, took care of you when you were sick and took you to the doctor and the hospital and they gave their all. They may have even given their last to you why so much disrespect i i can't in my mind i can't rationalize it because that's something i would never do even though i i, I had every right to be that way that's something i wouldn't do because my grandmother taught me better so i'm trying to understand your thinking and and that's something i want you guys to ponder your thinking about the disrespect why is it so easy to disrespect somebody that loves you and cares for you and supports you think about that you guys we gotta be good to each other before we go to anybody else. We have to be good to our community, our, our families. We have to be good to each other. And for the people that don't believe in God, because I don't just talk to people that are Christian or, or have the same uh, belief system as I, I talk to everyone because I wanna get my message across to everyone. You have to believe there's something called karma. And you have to know whatever you put out there in the universe, you're gonna get it back, right? So why even put yourself through that of putting all that negativity and disrespecting the people that paved the way for you and sacrificed and worked hard for you in a disrespectful way? Tossing them aside and not caring about them and talking 
talking to them any kind of way. I remember it was a time we couldn't even say lie. Am I wrong or am I right? Sisters and brothers, we couldn't say lie to our parents without, without getting uh, slapped in our face or punished or made put in time out or even a spanking. So we knew not to be disrespectful to our elders. Where has that gone? I'm trying to understand it. And I'm talking to our youth. Where has it gone? The very people that you're disrespect, disrespecting and disregarding are the same people that paved the way to afford you some of the rights that you are afforded today. Open some of the doors that you have opened for you that they never had opened for them. What gives you a right to say anything negative about your elders or the people that care for you? I'm trying to understand. Now, I'm not saying that all your elders are right. But no matter how bad they've been, you still need to show them respect because they came before you and you don't understand their journey or what they had to go through before you were even born. Yet they stuck around and they did the best that they could do. I said they did the best that they can do. They deserve respect. And so that's what this video is about. It's kind of bringing it home to our youth and even to parents and grandparents to not tolerate the disrespect and not uh, enable them to disrespect you. And, 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 and that sense of entitlement needs to be broken some way, somehow, because we're ruining a whole generation of children and youth by giving them everything they want and they're not working for anything. So now they're growing up and most of them don't even want to even go to college anymore because they think they can get rich just having a YouTube channel or just being um, famous, online famous, Instagram famous or whatever they want to call it. And that's a lie from Satan because how many of us know unless you put in the work, the hard work, the dedication and you fight, how many times have you seen success without busting your behind and working hard how many times have you succeed have you seen success i mean yeah you can be you can have a quick fix but it might end you up in prison you know or jail we need to start telling our youth and youth, you you need to understand that something that you really want will never come easy if it come easy then it may not be any good to it and so i want to challenge our youth today on uh, making sure you reverence the people that came before you uh, to pave a way to open the doors that was there for you the whole time making sure you you really show reverence and respect to those people because I guarantee unless you do that there's really no positive things that could come to you because you're disrespecting the very person that sacrificed and paved the way for you period there's no way around it we need to really make sure we're reverencing the people that opened doors for us and loved us and then i want to make a comparison because I, I like to make us think because i know that if we change our minds we can change our lives i'm gonna make a comparison i want to know and this is not necessarily for you this is for everybody i want to know why we treat people like crap the people that love us the people that support us um and all these good things they nurture us they they do whatever they can do for us and we treat them like crap and then we have people that have abandoned us and they've never been there for us and they've treated us like shit but we hold them in high esteem what's wrong with our thinking where is our loyalty why are we this why are we misplacing the care and the concern and the love that's supposed to be there for the people that's been there for us the whole time why i'm trying to figure it out because i see the the, the right people getting mistreated and the wrong people being treated well we have to ask ourselves why and we have to figure that out so that we can understand how to really be there and love and receive love in a correct manner. Somewhere in our lives, we've been taught how to love incorrectly. And until we learn how to love correctly, it's going to always be warped and conditional. And that's why it's so easy to throw good people away. 
Because you never learned how to love correctly. Because you would know your first loyalty go to that person that has never abandoned you. That's always been there for you. That's always loved you and supported you. Even though they weren't perfect, they've never left you. That's the person you should treat well. The person that don't give a damn about you, that walked away, that could kill us if you're eating, you know, where you're eating, if you have a home or anything else. That's the person you should keep at arm's length. But no, some of us run towards those people that hurt us. We have to ask ourselves why. Do we really love ourselves? Do we really know our who we are and our identity and our purpose? Do we really know? Do we really love ourselves? Because if we can answer, yes, I love myself, and I know how to receive love and give love correctly, we're going to focus on the people that had us. That's what we're, we're going to focus on the positive things in this life and the people that had our, our back and we're going to have their back. We're not going to run after the people that discarded us and thrown us away and treated us like we weren't, we weren't invaluable because we know who we are within because God has put an identity and a purpose in each and every one of us. And I'm trying to get this video out before my phone cuts off because it's hot here. But those are the people we need to focus on. And if you find yourself, and I'm just being real to anyone watching this video right now, if you find yourself chasing after people that's treated you like shit, excuse my language, you got some work to do within. You got some work to do. Ain't no way around it. We got to get that work done so that we can become a strong, healthy community because if we keep hurting good people. We're going to push all them good people away. And then who you gonna have? You ain't gonna have nobody. Who you gonna have? Stop pushing good people away. I'm telling you, some people you push away are invaluable. Like, they, you can't place a monetary value on somebody that's had you from day one, that's been loyal to you from day one. You can't place a monetary value. You can't place because they are far more worthy than any monetary thing that you could ever possess in this life. Stop pushing good people away. Stop hurting good people and figure out why. If it's okay for you to disrespect, disregard the very people that's had your back, it's something deeply wrong with you and it needs to be fixed. And this is a challenge to our youth. It's never too early to start dealing with our mental self and our emotional being and our our spiritual being it's it's never too early we got to get that part right especially before you have start having children because you're going to pass that same dysfunction down to that kid and then they're going to do the same so we got to get it right let's get it right youth let's get it right parents i'm i'm, I'm challenging you too stop enabling that child that don't want to grow up they're going to have to grow up one way or another either it's with you us when after you leave here how prepared is your kid right now today if you were to leave here today could you say that they can make it on their own and if the answer is no you still got work to do with that kid or with that youth you still have work to do and it may be some tough love and I know it's hard especially for women it's hard for us to, to do uh, tough love with our children especially if their fathers are not around we, we become real real coddly and but it's unhealthy and it's teaching them how to be entitled. We got to hold them to the mat and say, no, you did this wrong. I'm taking away this. You have, you no longer have that privilege, no matter how much they whine, bicker, cry. You got, you have to uphold disciplinary actions towards your youth or you're going to ruin them. I'm not saying you got to beat them to death because whipping kids and beating kids, it, it only made us more angrier. So I'm not saying to, to beat them. But I'm saying you got to take something from them that they really love and want to teach them lessons. And I've even grown to learn that with my older kids, you know, because we were uh, as children, we were whipped and spanked and all that. And so I may have did a little bit of that with my older kids. And I see that how I've learned how to change that with my younger kids. And they're behaving a lot better and they're not so angry. So I, I got, got a chance to see that too. There wasn't necessarily how i mean it wasn't that i needed to whip them or spank them it's just learning how to deal with kids in a different way because all of our kids are different but we don't always have to hit them our people has had enough abuse let's try it a different way let's try a different approach 
So parents, I challenge you to not be an enabler and let's let our kids grow up and let's let's let them grow up in a health as healthy as, as they possibly can. And you remember that you are nothing without the people that paved the way for you. You cannot disrespect them or disregard them and think you're gonna have uh, great success in this life. It doesn't work like that. God wants you to honor your parents. Even the parents that wasn't the best, you still don't disrespect them. Let God deal with them, pray for them. And even if you don't have, if you can't deal with them anymore, that's if they repeatedly hurt you over and over again. And you feel like I cannot deal with that parent anymore. Still don't disrespect them. So this is a challenge today. I'm done. I can't believe I made it. I'm done. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys uh, for watching this video. Always remember to put God first. And I believe we can be the best versions of ourselves if we love ourselves through all the trauma and all the bull crap that we've ever experienced. We can be phenomenal people. I love you guys. Take care.